Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with spicy coconut and cashew tuna tartare. That's right, I'm actually showing this for two reasons. First of all, this is a great hot weather appetizer and that it's fast, easy, and requires no cooking. But above and beyond that, I also wanted to prove that if done correctly, eating raw tuna is perfectly safe, which apparently many people don't think is the case, especially the people that watch those shows about brain-eating parasites. All right, so I survived this, and I think there's a better than average chance you will too. So let's go ahead and get started. And the first step is probably the most important, the cutting of the tuna. So I'm gonna use about eight ounces of yellowfin tuna, also known as ahi tuna, and this was previously frozen sushi grade or grade A tuna. And I'm gonna give a ton more info about this on the blog. People have this idea that frozen fish is actually less desirable than fresh, which really isn't the case. But like I said, we'll talk about that in the post. For now, let's go ahead and dice this up. And if you want that to be really easy, you're gonna to wanna to do this while the fish is still partially frozen. All right, it should be firm to the touch, but still have a little bit of give to it. So as the Italians say, when it's semi freddy it's ready. So we're gonna put that down on the cutting board. And we're going to take our sharpest, possibly Japanese knife. And by the way, I'm sorry, I lost the box. I have no idea what brand of knife this is. So save your emails. In fact, maybe someone out there can identify it. But anyway, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and cut across like this into thick slices. And as you can see, mine had a little bit of a split, which is no big deal. This is one of those rare times that crack is not whack. Because we're going to go ahead and dice this up anyway, so it's not going to matter. So just go ahead and cut slices like this. Don't worry if it separates. And by the way, how pretty is this fish? Just really love that color. So not only is this going to taste good, it's going to look really pretty. And then once we have those pieces cut like this, let's just go ahead and cut them lengthwise. And then turn and just do a nice, small, neat dice. And yes, it is legal when you're making a tartare just to chop it all up roughly. But I really think for this gorgeous tuna, it pays to take a couple extra minutes and get some beautiful uniform pieces that's going to be a little more aesthetically pleasing. Okay, so you get the idea. So we're going to go through, we're going to dice up that tuna which by now is probably fully thawed. So what we're gonna do at this point is put a paper towel at the bottom of our mixing bowl and go ahead and transfer that cut tuna on top. And even though this tuna was relatively dry, this paper towel is gonna to wick away a little bit of that excess moisture. And then once we transfer that tuna in, let's go ahead and pop that in the fridge to keep it ice cold while we prep the rest of the ingredients, which includes in this case, some thinly sliced red onions. We're also gonna need some chopped up cashews. I'm gonna use raw here, but in the post I'm gonna call for toasted, which work better. We're also gonna heat things up with some minced serrano chilies and freshly grated ginger. We're also gonna do some fresh cilantro and fresh lime juice. And then last but not least, our secret ingredient, some coconut milk. Oh, you know Chef John's got a thing for coconut milk and it works fantastic in this. Okay, so our garnishes are prepped. We can go ahead and take our tuna out of the fridge, remove that paper towel and get to mix in. So let's go ahead and dump in our onions and our cashews and our fresh cilantro leaves, which I've torn, not chopped. Just tear them up in little pieces. We'll also go ahead and add our diced serrano chilies and ginger. We also wanna go ahead and season this generously with salt. And then we'll go ahead and drizzle in just half the amount of coconut milk and give this a toss first before we add the lime juice. And my theory here is that the fat in the coconut milk will coat those little cubes of tuna and help protect it a little bit from the acid in the lime because we're doing a tartare, not a ceviche. So we'll give that a thorough mixing and then we'll squeeze in the juice of a lime and give that a mix. Okay, and it should go without saying, I'm just showing you the technique of a tartare. You put any ingredients you want. All right, if you're not into these Asian flavors we got going here, do a different style. You could go Mediterranean, you could go Latin. I mean, you are the Ringo star of your tuna tartare. So go ahead and compose this any way you want. And then once that lime's mixed in, we'll simply finish this by drizzling in enough coconut milk until you get the consistency you want. So I'm gonna drizzle some in, mix it up, look at it. If it looks like it needs more, I'll put a little more in, mix that up. And I tend not to like mine too wet and soupy. So I'll generally just put enough to coat like you see here. But I definitely encourage you to add more if you want. Coconut milk has such a beautiful, rich, sweet flavor. And it's actually very, very good for you. And once that's mixed up, of course, the most important step here, you got to taste for seasoning. This is one of those things, if it doesn't taste good, it's your fault. So make sure you have enough salt, enough acid, enough heat, enough ginger, enough herbs, etc. And once that's tasting exactly how we want it, we want to serve this immediately. This really is better tossed and served at the last second. So I'm gonna go ahead and spoon this up. I think I'm gonna garnish with a little more chopped cashew. And then maybe just to warn everyone, it's gonna be a little spicy. I'll do a little bit of dried red Thai chili over the top. And by the way, I'm serving this exactly like the restaurant I stole the idea from serves it, surrounded by taro chips. Oh, I hope you're down with taro chips. They are so incredibly delicious. Super crunchy, earthy, slightly sweet, starchy, just everything you enjoy in a potato chip. Although from what I hear, these are actually better for you, in case you're into that kind of thing. 
But anyway, that's it. Our spicy coconut and cashew tuna tartare is done. And looking very inviting if you ask me. So let me pile some of this on a chip for the official taste. That tuna has such a beautiful, fresh, neutral flavor that really works perfect with these particular ingredients. And that was just absolutely delicious. Of course, we have that sweet heat thing going on. A little bit of herbaceousness from the cilantro. Those cashews are adding texture and a little bit of extra richness. And then everything just beautifully brought together by that coconut milk. I just really, really enjoy this combination of taste, and I think you will too. So like I said at the beginning, if you do this properly, it should be completely safe. In fact, you have a much higher statistical chance of being fatally injured by a lawn dart this summer than you do from eating tuna tartare. And especially if you're around a lot of people drinking beer out of those red plastic cups. All right, so please keep your head on a swivel. But anyway, I really do hope you give this a try. So head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.